Hello again students. So up till now we have discussed many circuits and many design strategies which were basically the manual procedure of finding the voltages or currents by using different methods. So from today we are going to start another very important series of lectures and that is about the simulation software or we can call it the electric circuit simulation software which is called a multisim. So multisim is the environment which is used for simulating and checking different elements for the voltage drop and currents in the circuit and many other purposes can also be served by using the same software. So let us first uh, discuss the environment of this software and first of all we can see here that we have different options here file option edit option view and other options so we will come back to it later on whenever we will talk about different options which will be related to these options so first of all let us talk about different symbols here and different elements which we are going to use so here first of all when you will click over each or any of the option here another box will appear here and inside of it you can see that the database here so i am going to use a master database in the master database we have different groups and inside the groups we have sources basic diodes transistors analog and all of the options which we can use in our circuit design methodologies okay so here in the sources what are basically the elements here so here we have power sources signal current sources and all of the sources which you can use in order to check or to analyze or to design any circuit okay similar Similarly, in basic elements, we have resistors, capacitors, inductors and all the elements which you have to use in order to construct a circuit. So if you want to use a resistor of any value, you can click it from here and after it you can press OK and you will see that with a cursor I have this resistor here. So uh, after pressing the left button of my mouse what will happen it will be placed here and after it i will be back to the dialog box where i was previously okay similarly in capacitors i have different values of the capacitors inductor i have different values transformers and so on if i am not going to use it further let me press ok here and uh, after it if i want to cut back to the menu here i can press the right button of my mouse and here I can click or a double clicking it what will it give me it will give me the value of this resistor mm, ohms so I can change it as well so it is by default 1k which was written over there so I can also write it 10 similarly in order to label it I can use it let me use the resistor similarly displaying it values I have change its values and others will also be discussed whenever we will talk about it later on the tolerance is basically the actual value uh, up to which the resistance of a resistor can be changed and it will be in the percentage so all the percentage values are also given here and uh, up to some points I am using zero here similarly false pins variant user fields all of these values are also here so let me press ok here so when I will press ok you can see here that the label resistor is here similarly here I have 10 ohm resistance and uh, these things are used here okay similarly in order to use some other components here i can also get back here i can use diodes here in which leds photodiodes zener diodes all the family of the diodes are also available transistors are available here uh, similarly microcontroller units and also advanced peripherals like keypads lcds terminals and these things are also available in order to give the input or getting the output and observing those outputs as well okay uh, similarly miscellaneous digital and also indicators are also available so what are basically the indicators indicators are basically used for the indication of the output uh, in order to check whether the output is correct or not uh, similarly miscellaneous is also available and all the things are also available so um, if i want to use some sources here i can also use power sources and inside the power sources if i want to construct a dc circuit what i can use here i can use the dc power here so writing dc 
power here and when I will click over here like I will click right over here so the DC source will be placed here similarly in order to construct a circuit what I will use here I will also be needing a ground here so clicking over it and I will get here this ground and it will appear here so if I don't want to use other sources here so let me press ok here and after it we can see here that with the cursor I have this ground which is not removed yet so in order to remove it what I have to do I have to click right here so what will happen now I have these components 